Okay, so I, I know I was hard on um, The Last Jedi, but I actually have a newfound appreciation for it because I get it now. So I know people always call Ray like uh, too talented at everything, but here's the thing Ray, I don't think you guys, you don't understand, you guys don't really understand the nuance to the Ray character. It's very subtle. Okay, so here's the thing Ray doesn't have force powers, conventional ones per se. She has a totally different power. Basically, whenever a man fails in her presence, her power activates and she becomes super talented at everything the man failed at doing. So we see this in The Force Awakens when Han Solo is flying the Millennium Falcon and he's having a hard time, so he's failing, and then she becomes super talented at flying the Millennium Falcon. Then later on, Kylo Ren tries to tamper with her mind. He fails, obviously, and then she becomes super talented at tampering with people's minds and mind controls the Daniel Craig stormtrooper and, and sets herself free. And then later on, Finn tries to protect her with a lightsaber by having a lightsaber duel with Kylo Ren and Finn fails, because obviously because men always fail. And then she becomes super talented at lightsaber duels and beats Kylo Ren. Okay, and finally in the Force, oh no, in the Last Jedi, she meets Luke Skywalker, who, who is the biggest failure ever at everything in the whole world, in the whole galaxy, just an utter failure. And so, in his presence, in Luke's presence, she becomes super talented at everything possible. And then she masters her Jedi training in like a one or two days, and hence. Here we are with her as the most powerful being in the universe. Um, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it sounds good, right? Okay, uh, I, I, I can appreciate the movie more now.